Listening one. Listen and read. Hello, I'm Jack. Here's a picture of my house, and this is my address. I live at number thirty-eight Swan Street, Littlemore. Listening two. Write the words. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. Listening three, listen, read, and find. Hi, I'm Daisy. This is my address. Daisy Sims, flat five A, seventy four Browning Road, Littlemore. I live in a flat on the fifth floor. My brother is at home. He's dressing up. Listening four. Listen and point to the numbers. Draw lines. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Listening five, listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? Okay. What are you wearing today? Uh, I'm wearing blue trousers. And a sweater? No, I'm wearing a red T-shirt. What colour are your shoes? My shoes, they're brown. What's the next question? Do you wear glasses? Yes, I do, but I'm not wearing them now. They're at home. That was the last question. Thank you. Listening six. Listen and read. Then act. One. Are you good at tennis? No, I'm not. But I'm good at climbing. Let's climb that tree. Two. No, I don't like climbing. Okay, watch me. All right, but be careful. Don't fall. Three. Look at me. Well done, Jack. Now climb down. Four. I can't. I'm not good at climbing down. Can you help me? Sorry, Jack. Listening seven. Listen and check. One. The orange scarf is longer than the grey scarf, but the purple scarf is the longest. Two. The yellow tree is taller than the red tree, but the green tree is the tallest. Three. The blue flower is smaller than the white flower, but the pink flower is the smallest. Listening eight, movers practice test. Listening part one. Look at the picture.
Listen and look. There is one example. Excuse me, what are you all doing? We're playing. Can you see my friend Paul? Is he playing football? No, he's playing tennis. He's got brown hair. Oh yes, I can see him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Those girls are my friends too. Which girls? The ones who are sitting under the tree. Who's the girl with a red scarf? Oh, that's Mary. Two. And that's my brother, Jim. Look, he's skipping. Is he wearing a sweater? No, he's wearing a pair of black trousers and a blue T-shirt. Three. Which one is Fred? He's the boy who's climbing. Is he wearing glasses? Yes, that's right. Oh yes, I can see him. Four. My sister Jane is here too. Is she? What's she wearing? She's wearing a yellow dress. Oh yes, she's very tall. Yes, she's taller than me. Five. Who's the girl with black hair? Where? She's roller skating with a boy. She's very good at roller skating. Oh yes, that's Sally. She's my friend too. Listening nine, movers practice test. Listening part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. I like this picture. Can you see the boy? The one who's eating an apple. That's right. Colour the apple green, please. Okay. Can you see the green apple? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now, can you see the girl? Yes, I can. She's wearing a scarf. Can you colour her scarf pink? All right. Two. Do you want to write something now? Yes, please. Can you see the boy's T-shirt? Yes. Write the word "hello" on it. I'm writing it now. That's very good. Three. What can I colour now? You can colour the girl's bag. Can I colour it purple? That's a good idea. Four. Shall I colour the boy's shoes? Okay. Can you colour them brown? Yes, I'm colouring them now. Well done. Five. One last thing. What do you want to colour now? I'd like to colour the flower. Which one? The one that's next to the girl. All right. What colour? My favourite colour is red. That's a good colour for the flower. Listening ten, listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? All right. Here's the first one. 
Do you like shopping? Yes, I do. I go shopping every week with my mum. Who cooks dinner in your house? My dad. My mum doesn't like cooking. Do you like making things? No, I don't. I love painting, but I don't like making things. And this is the last question. How often do you go swimming? I go every week. Swimming is my favourite sport. Great. Thank you. Listening 11. Listen and read. Then act. 1. Do you like cooking, Jack? Yes, I do. I like making cakes. How about you? 2. I love cooking. I always cook dinner in our house. Really? 3. Daisy, shall I make pasta for dinner? That's a good idea. Yes, please. I love pasta. 4. Your mum's cooking dinner, Daisy. You don't always cook dinner. Well, no, but I often cook dinner on Thursdays. Listening 12. Listen. Tick three things that Jack does at the weekend. What do you do on Saturdays, Jack? Well, I always play football. When do you play? In the morning. And what do you do after football? Do you go shopping? No, I never go shopping on Saturdays. What do you do then? I sometimes go for a walk with my dad. Then I do my homework. Always? Yes, I always do my homework on Saturdays. Listening 13. Listen and say. I've got brown eyes, brown eyes, brown eyes. I've got brown eyes. How about you? I've got blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. Yours are brown, but mine are blue. I wear glasses, glasses, glasses. I wear glasses. What about you? Look at my glasses, glasses, glasses. I wear glasses just like you. I like tennis, football, baseball. I like sport. So how about you? I like skating, swimming, running. You like sport and I do too. Listening 14. Movers practice test. Listening part 4. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you live in a house or a flat, Lily? In a flat. Right. Is it on the ground floor? No, it's on the second floor. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. And who do you live with? I live with my mum and my dad. Have you got any sisters? No, I haven't. But I've got a brother. He's younger than me. 2. Do you often go to the park, Lily? Yes, I do. I like going there at the weekend. What do you do in the park? Sometimes I climb trees, and sometimes I skip. Do you play tennis? No, I never play tennis. 3. Who do you go to the park with? I go with my friend Jane. Has Jane got black hair? No, she hasn't. She's got brown hair. And what colour are her eyes? They're blue. 4. What do you do in the evenings? First, I do my homework. And then? Well, I often text my friends. 
Do you sometimes email them? No, I don't like writing emails. Listening fifteen. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? Yes. Okay. Is there a library in your town? Yes. There's a big one. I often go there after school. Do you often go to cafes? No. There aren't any good cafes in our town, but we sometimes buy ice creams in the park. What's your favourite shop called? Well, I love the toy shop. It's called Tony's Toys. Is that your favourite shop? No, I like Book Fun best. It's got hundreds of books. Thank you. That was the last question. Listening sixteen. Listen and read. Then act. One. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. We've got English first. Oh, yes, you're right. Two. Last Saturday, I went to the library to do my homework. Right. After that, I went to the toy shop. Oh, why? Three. To buy a present. Do you want to see it? Okay, who is it for? Four. It's for you. Happy birthday! Thank you, Jack. I was sad, but I'm happy now. Listening seventeen. Movers practice test. Listening part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Peter is telling Mrs. Green about his family and friends, and where they went today. Where did each person go? Hi, Peter. What did you do today? I went to the town with my friend Charlie. Did you go shopping? Yes, we did. We went to the supermarket to buy some comics. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about your friend Jim? Did he go to the supermarket too? No, he went to the sports center. He plays tennis there. Is he good at tennis? Yes, he is. Lily went to the town too. Who's Lily? She's my friend too. She went to the shopping centre with her mum. Does she like shopping? No, she doesn't. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Yes, I've got one brother and one sister. Where did your brother go today? Ah,、uh, he went to the library. He loves reading books. And what about your sister? Ah,、uh, she went to the playground with her friends. No, she went with my mum. My sister's younger than me. She's three. Was your dad at the playground too? No, he wasn't. He was at work. What time did he go to work? He went to the train station at six o'clock. That's early. Listening eighteen. Listen and circle. Please, can I ask you some questions? Okay. Do you live in a house? Or a flat. I live in a flat. It's on the fourth floor. Right. And 
How many bedrooms are there? We've got three bedrooms, one for my mum and dad, one for me, and one for my sister. Do you listen to music in your bedroom? Yes, I've got lots of CDs. I love music. That's great. Thank you. Listening nineteen. Listen and read, then act. One. Mum, I can't find my library book. Oh dear, where did you put it? Is it upstairs? No, it isn't. And I'm looking for my football too. Two. Oh Jack, you always lose things. I think your football is outside. You're right. I played football with Daisy yesterday. Three. Is it there? Yes, it is. And my library book's here too. Great. Four. But it's wet. Oh, Jack. Listening twenty. Listen and say. I skipped and I danced and I shouted at my brother. I planted some flowers and I smiled at my mother. I picked up a ball and I dropped it on the ground. I walked and I shopped and I looked around the town. Listening twenty one. Listen and tick the pictures. Can I ask you some questions about this morning, Daisy? Okay. What did you do first? Well, I woke up. <laughs> of course. Then I got up. And then? Then I got dressed. I put on my trousers and t-shirt. Did you have breakfast? Yes, I did. I love breakfast. What did you do after that? I made a cake. It was a chocolate cake. Hmm, my favourite. And then? Well, I saw Jack. He was outside my house. And what did you do? I went outside and I rode my bike with Jack. It was fun. Listening twenty two, movers practice test. Listening part two, listen and look. There is one example. What are you doing, Jim? I'm doing my homework. Can I ask you some questions, please? Okay.、Uh, did you go shopping yesterday? Yes, I did. How many shops did you go to? Ah,、uh, five. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Which was your favourite shop? Well. I liked the computer shop, but my favourite was the bookshop. Is the bookshop big? Yes, it is. It's got four floors. Two. Where is that shop? It's in Castle Street. How do you spell that? C A S T L E. Great. I'd like to go there. Three. Have you got the phone number of the shop? Uh, yes, it's here. What is it? It's five three four one six nine five. Thanks. Four. Did you buy any books? No, but I bought some CDs. How many? I bought two, but I wanted to buy six. Five. Where did you go after that? I went to a clothes shop. Did you buy some clothes? Yes, I bought a new hat. It's very nice. Great, thank you.
Listening 23. Listen and check. In picture A, the pencils are on the table. But in picture B, they're under it. This clock is square. But this one is round. In picture A, the boy is reading a comic. But in picture B, he's reading a book. The girl's sweater is blue, but here her sweater is green. There's a laptop in this picture, but there's a cage in this picture. Listening 24. Listen and order the pictures. Picture 1. The boy's in the park. He's got a bat and a ball. He wants to play baseball. Picture 2. A girl is sitting under a tree. She's sad. Picture 3. The boy is talking to the girl. Picture 4. They're playing baseball. The girl is happy now. Listening 25. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? All right. What's the first question? Did you go on holiday last year? Yes, I did. I went to a hotel with my parents and my brother. Now the second question. Do you like swimming in the sea? I love swimming, but not in the sea. It's too cold. I like swimming in a pool. And the third question. Has your house or flat got a balcony? No. I live in a flat, but there aren't any balconies. Listening 26. Listen and read, then act. 1. I've got an idea. Shall I show you my holiday photos? Yes. OK. 2. This is my friend Sally, who bought me an ice cream. Great! And look at this one. This is where we made a top. 3. This is a shell which I found on the beach. Very nice. And this is the room where I got undressed for swimming. Four. Wake up, Jack. I am awake, but please stop now, Daisy. Listening 27. Listen and colour more things in the pictures. The T-shirt which Daisy's sister wore in the shop was purple. The bag that Daisy took to the shop was yellow. The sweater that Daisy's dad bought was brown. The hat which Daisy wore in the shop was green. The ice cream that Daisy's brother dropped was pink. The bird which ate the ice cream was black. Listening 28. Listen and say. She bought me an ice cream. She bought me a pear. I cooked her some lunch and I pulled out a chair. He told them a story. He made them a cake. They read him a book and they showed him a snake. Listening 29. Movers practice test. Listening Part 1 Look at the picture. Listen and look. 
There is one example. Hello. Are you enjoying the beach? Yes. It's great. I'm here with my friends. Oh, is that boy your friend? Which one? The one with the green bag. I think he's listening to music. Yes. That's Fred. He's listening to his favorite band. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's the girl that's swimming in the sea? I can see two girls in the sea. Which one do you mean? The one who's near the beach. Oh, that's Vicky. Two. Is Mary here too? Yes, she's sitting on a towel. She doesn't like swimming. Is she wearing a red hat? No, she hasn't got a hat. She's wearing a yellow dress. Oh yes, I can see her now. Three. Who's the boy on the boat? The one who's taking a photo. No, the one who's getting undressed. Oh, that's Peter. I think he wants to go for a swim. Four. And who's the girl next to the shower? Is she having a shower? No, she's waiting. That's my friend Jane. Oh, right. Five. Look at Jim. What's he doing? I think he's buying me an ice cream. Oh, great! Listening thirty, movers practice test. Listening part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. I like that sweater. Is it new? Yes, my mum bought it for me yesterday. Great. And she bought me some socks too. And your jeans? Are they new too? No, they're old. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Did you go to school today? No, I don't go to school on Saturdays. Oh yes. I went for a ride this morning. On your bike? No, on my horse. He's beautiful. Two. Did you go home after that? Yes, I did. It was lunchtime. Is your house big? No, it isn't big, but it's very nice. Have you got a garden? No, we haven't, but there's a balcony. Three. Which is your favourite room in the house? Uh, I like my bedroom. What have you got in your bedroom? Well, there's a bed, and I've got a cupboard. And a bookcase. No, my books are downstairs in the living room. Four. What did you do after lunch? I went to the sports center where my sister plays basketball. Did you play basketball too? No, I don't like it. Is there a pool there? Yes, there is, but I didn't swim. I played tennis. Listening thirty one, listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? Okay. How many? Three. Here's question one. Do you live in a city, a town, or a village? Uh, 
It's quite small, but it's bigger than a village. It's a town. Thanks. Question two. Would you like to be a farmer? Oh, yes, I would. I love animals and I like being outside too. And question three. Which do you like best, books or comics? I like books and comics, but I think I like comics best. Thank you. Listening 32. Listen and read, then act. 1. I love this book. What's it called? It's called Sam and the Sea. 2. What's it about? It's about a boy who goes sailing in a big boat with his family. It's very exciting. Do they sail to an island? 3. Yes. How did you know that? It's my book. 4. No, it isn't. It's mine. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. My book is on the bookcase. It's OK. We both love this book. Listening 33. Listen and tick the box. 1. What's your book about, Jack? It's about a boy who goes to the jungle. Ooh, are there any animals in the jungle? Yes, there are tigers. And monkeys? No, there aren't any monkeys. Two. Is that a good book, Daisy? Yes, it's very exciting. What's on the front? Is that a pirate? Yes, it is. And there's a big box of treasure too. Oh, I love books about pirates. So do I. Listening 34. Listen and circle the best kite. Do you like those kites? Yes, they're great. I like the blue and white one. That one isn't very good. The orange and purple ones are better. Which one is the best? Is it the purple one? No, the orange one. Listen and circle the best ball. Come on, I want to play in the garden. OK, let's find a ball. Here's the yellow one. That one's bad. It doesn't bounce. All right. How about the red one? No, that's the worst one. It's worse than the yellow one. There's one more here. It's green. Right. Let's play with that one. I think it's the best one. Listening 35. Movers practice test. Listening part 5. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the pirate? Which one? There are three pirates in the picture. Oh, yes. I mean the one who's wearing a big hat. I can see him. He's on the boat. That's right. Can you colour his hat blue? OK. That's easy. Can you see the blue hat? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. 1. What can I colour now? What do you want to colour? I want to colour the bird. I can't see a bird. Where is it? It's flying above the pirate. Oh, yes. Colour it red. All right. 2. I want you to write something now. OK. What shall I write? Can you see the towel? Is it next to the pirate who's reading? That's right. Write the word sun on the towel. I'm writing it now. Well done. 3. What do you want to colour now? I'd like to colour the pirate's book. All right.
What colour? Can I colour it orange? Yes, that's a good colour. Four. Can you see the third pirate? Yes. He's looking at some treasure. Yes, he is. And he's wearing trousers and a jacket. Shall I colour his jacket purple? That's a good idea. Five. Do you want to colour one more thing? Yes, please. OK. Can you see the monkey? Yes. It's eating a banana. That's right. Colour the monkey brown, please. I'm doing it now. The picture looks great now. Listening 36. Listen and draw and colour. 1. Where's your father, Jack? He's the one with curly hair. Is it brown? That's right. He's got curly brown hair. Has he got a moustache? A moustache? Yes, he has. That's brown too. Right. I can see him. Two. Has your uncle got brown hair too? No, he's got blonde hair. It's straight. He's got straight blonde hair. Has he got a beard? No, he hasn't. But he's wearing glasses. Oh, yes. There he is. Three. That's my grandfather. Look. Is he the one with a beard? Yes, a grey beard. And he's got grey hair. Grey hair and a grey beard. Yes, I can see him now. Four. Who's that man? The one with curly hair? Yes, he's got curly black hair and he's wearing glasses. Oh, that's my cousin. Listening 37. Listen and draw lines. 1. How old is your dad? He's 39. Where does he work? He works in a hospital. He's a doctor. 2. Does your uncle live in a house or a flat? He lives in a house, like me. How old is he? He's 44. 3. How old is your grandpa? He's 62. Does he work? Yes, he works in the library. 4. How old is your cousin, Jack? He's 21. Where does he live? He lives in a flat and he works in a cafe. Does he like it? Yes, he loves it. Listening 38. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? Yes. Thank you. Right, the first one. How many grown-ups live with you? Well, I live with my mother and my father, and my grandmother lives with us too. So that's three. Have you got any brothers or sisters? I haven't got any brothers, but I've got two sisters. How many cousins have you got? Er, uh, four. No, six. I've got six cousins. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Listening 39. Listen and read, then act. One. Look at that woman. She's riding very quickly. That's my grandmother. Two. Oh, how old is she? She's 63. Three. She rides very well. 
Yes, she does. But she couldn't ride a horse when she was young. When did she learn? Four. I learned to ride when I was 60. Wow! Listening 40. Movers practice test. Listening part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Kim is telling Mr. Day about her family and what they bought today. What did each person buy? Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I went to the shopping centre today. Who did you go with? With all my family. My aunt bought a blanket for her bed. It's purple. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What shops did you go to? First, we went to the bookshop. I couldn't buy a book because I didn't have any money. Oh dear. But my cousin bought a really exciting book. I want to read it. It's about a time machine. After that, we went to the supermarket. To buy some food? Yes, and we bought some other things too. My grandpa bought a new toothbrush. Oh, that isn't very interesting. <laughs> what about your sister? Oh, we went to the toy shop. She had some money and she wanted to buy a toy. What did she buy? She looked at lots of toys. Then she bought a model helicopter. It was the best toy in the shop. Brilliant! My uncle was with us too. What did he buy? He bought a plant for his living room. A big one? No, he bought the smallest one in the shop. But it will grow bigger. It's got red flowers. How about your mother? Oh, yes. She was there too. She likes shopping. She bought a lamp for me. Was it for your bedroom? Yes. I put it next to my bed. I like reading when I'm in bed. My mum always tells me to go to sleep. <laughs>